This next story has a lot of people talking this yeah, evening. Yeah, it certainly does. We are seeing more children contracting an extremely rare illness with symptoms similar to polio, including two children in the Houston area. It is called acute flaccid myelitis, which affects the nervous system. These are the symptoms, sudden weakness in the arms or legs. One side of your face starts drooping, also slurred speech or difficulty swallowing. The kids in Harris and Galveston counties are two of eight cases across Texas alone, and it's so rare only one in a million people will get it. And tonight, Lauren Tallarico met a child fighting the disease. Lauren? Uh, yeah, really, and what a fighter he is and his family at that. His name is Braden Scott, and as we continue to learn more and more about this very scary disease, he's living it every day. Several hours a day, every day. You know, try to keep him as active as we can. And You'll find seven-year-old Braden Scott giving his all to gain back his strength. And doing as much as we can so that he can have the best chance at recovery. But it wasn't always this way. This story starts on July 4th, 2016. So initially they thought it was strep or it was mono. And it went from a cold, uh, him, not, him not being able to swallow, to full-on paralysis. At five years old, Braden was diagnosed with acute flaccid myelitis, a rare disease that affects the nervous system. It left Braden on a ventilator and feeding tube. It had paralyzed me, mm -hmm. and I could only do hand signals, and I had to do them to know so people can know what I needed. Doctors don't know how Brayden got it. In fact, they don't really know how anyone does. Because no one can, with a lot of certainty, say what's causing it or why these kids are getting it. Um, so it's scary because it's not something that's easily preventable. Although the CDC says only one in one million will be diagnosed, there seem to be clusters popping up. But it is becoming more prevalent, so it's scary that there's not a way to defend yourself against it when it's something that's slowly becoming more and more common. Right now, hospitals aren't required to report cases to the CDC. It's a, a huge issue that the CDC is not, does not have an accurate representation of how many of these cases there are. With this disease, the road to recovery is tough on all levels. It's hard knowing that, I don't know, just the things that he's missing out on that normal kids get to do. But Brayden and his family are optimists. If I were a regular kid, I wouldn't be on the news. And are telling their story to spread awareness about this devastating disease. It is underrepresented um, and it isn't giving us the chance to get the research and the um, hope for a vaccine or something like that that we might be able to have if, if it was represented as, as, as big of a problem as we believe it is. How tough. You certainly understand why she wants a resolution. In Absolutely. This. And there are still so many questions. And one of the ones that I wanted to know as a mom was if Brayden had had all of his vaccines, like the polio vaccine, since AFM tends to mimic it. And his mom told me that, yes, Brayden was up to date before his diagnosis, but that it doesn't really seem to make a difference because kids with vaccines and without them have both been, been diagnosed with this disease. Other questions coming in from Facebook. Lauren Roseanne is asking this question. Uh, is this similar to Guillain-Barre syndrome? All right, we got the answer for you. The symptoms are similar, but Guillain-Barre lasts only for about a week and is more common in people over the age of 50. We also got a question from Jessica. Thanks for sending in your questions, by the way. She wants to know, what makes it polio-like but not polio? Well, doctors don't know what causes AFM, but it's being called polio-like because it can lead to paralysis. The CDC still has not found anything that ties all these cases together. Yeah, it's yeah. tough to watch this kid. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, they'll get something done for him. Absolutely. All right, thanks, Lauren.